welcome back to the channel and this video finally talking about the seed finally actually showing the seed because I've been saying I'm gonna do the next video on the seed this and that and I never get to it um, but today like I said we're gonna be talking about the seed what is it like after about a month with the seed um, what it looks like how I have my harness uh, attached or secured to the bracket and yeah that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today as far as the seat goes living with it driving with it I gotta say not too bad I was actually under the impression for a long time this is part of why I didn't do it right away that having a bucket seat it was gonna be miserable uh, you won't be able to daily it anymore uh, make sure that's the thing you want to do and while I can see how people think that or how they got to that I can see that but honestly if you do your research you look at the seat that you want to get you actually measure the seat that's I think the biggest part measure the seat make sure it fits you I honestly can't complain I, I've had it like I said for over a month I've driven to my sister's which is about an hour and I want to say that's probably the longest drive I've done at least on highway driving normal and can't complain uh yes sure it's not as comfortable as the oem seat but to me this is actually more comfortable and the reason for that like i mentioned is the other seat which is the st1 seats i didn't fit in them i didn't fit in the seat uh my leg will go over this crease right here i don't know if you can see that but my leg will go over this this got wrinkled um it will pinch my leg it will be really uncomfortable so the regular seats not comfortable for me this bucket seat uh it's a nrg frp 300 large uh, and i believe the frp 300 is the large seat um it fits me just snug enough that i fit in it um a little pinch right here on the side of my hip but it's nothing bad if i adjust myself a little bit better i can always get rid of that pinch which usually i do anyways because why would i want to drive uncomfortable um aside from being maybe a little bit snug i can't complain about the seat it's comfortable it holds me in place makes driving the car uh, like so much more fun that it is worth it for me um i do have some back problems and i i can't complain about it at all i can't complain about the seat at all uh actually like i said oe seat gave me more back issues than this has so far granted i'm only a month in but you know i feel like if it was going to be uncomfortable if it was going to be something that was going to be an issue and i was going to regret it would have happened by now so far the only two times that i can honestly say it was really uncomfortable i wish i had the other seat was uh, a few times i had to either wait for my wife or take my wife somewhere and i was just waiting outside for about an hour hour and a half and sitting here for that long without actually driving the car meaning i'm moving my legs to put in the clutch or brake or you know all that stuff downshift uh it got really uncomfortable but that was after an hour and a half so i had to sit here not moving for about an hour and a half after that i had to kind of shift uh move around and stuff like that aside from those two times uh can't complain like i said the longest i've done is an hour and i was too excited because it was my first long trip with the seat and so i was driving a little bit more aggressive than usual just to feel how they hold me in place and stuff like that kind of like this just do that i'm not moving all over the place my legs are not hitting this or the door trying to hold me in place the seat does that for you all you have to do is just worry about steering the car looking where you're going point the car that way and just go so much more fun so much better for me i cannot state that enough this is just from my experience this is the greatest thing i've done to the car if you're like regular size or more average size and the st ones fit you just fine and you want to upgrade i would highly highly recommend go for the sc3s or sc2s for those recaros are going to be much better much more comfortable than this also you get to keep the airbag i don't have an airbag 
only have the side curtain and the steering wheel repair bag. That's it. Um, which I'm fine with. I can live with that. Uh, I mean, I have the main airbag, which is this one, so that's all I care for. Um, but aside from that, best choice, best thing I've done to the car, like I said before. Also, what I'm going to show you guys right now is going to be how to get rid of the airbag light. As you can see, I have an aftermarket seat, no airbag light. I search and search on YouTube on how to do it, and I saw it for a bunch of other different cars. I saw it for a Mustang GT, I saw it for a Fiesta ST, and the Fiesta ST video is not the greatest in explaining how they did it. They're like, this is what we bought to do it, but they never bothered to show how they did it. Um, have in mind, when I shot this video that I'm going to show you right now, I was already like three, four days into trying to fit that seat into the car. So I was frustrated, I was over it, I was tired. I was doing it by myself, which is the main thing. Also with no instructions on how to assemble any of this. Basically they give you a bag full of nuts, bolts, washers, and they're like, here, go at it. So I had to kind of figure that out. It was a lot of stress trying to get that done within a certain amount of time because I had to leave, get it figured out, and all that so I, actually another thing i have to come back and do at, at some point is going to have to adjust the front side of the seat is facing to my left just a little bit it's not a big deal and it's not uncomfortable but i notice it and it bothers me so i just want to be like perfectly aligned with the steering wheel so I, that's all i have to do uh aside from that i'm just going to show you that video right now yeah it's been about a week later it's sunday again got the bracket uh, or the slider I should say for the seat um, just waited because work and just being tired and working uh, just made it a, a drag to come all the way out here and put this on so today what we're gonna do uh, sandwich the slider in between this thing put it on show you how to do the uh, airbag light for the for the seat and then that should be pretty much it I'm gonna do it by myself today. Super Bowl Sunday, so nobody's here to help, which is fine. Uh, shouldn't be that bad. The hardest part was the the harness for their back, and that's already done, so we should be good. So we'll see how this goes. So here's what we did for the airbag light. This goes right about here, like so. This is basically all the sensors for the seat that go to the computer. Uh, over here to this unit um unplug this you just gotta where is it oh, it's on the other side i'll show you basically you push down these two little black uh, bars and then this clip comes off uh you gotta take off all these like body pins right here from different places this is your seat belt which you're gonna take off through over here which as you can see has a couple more that go here then another one on the inside make sure to take off your seat belt and so you can see this is the airbag light uh, or the airbag sensor what we did is we cut it here so in case we want to use this stock seat and put the airbag back on for whatever reason we can do that and we cut it from here so you can see the purple and um, yellow red or orange wire and then we put a two ohm resistor uh, into this little plugs so if I ever want to put the seat back on all I have to do is put the same little red uh, plugs on here unplug this and then plug it into that and then I have my airbag back on also if you don't want to damage your original cable I believe it's gonna be Recaro they sell a uh, universal one like this and it basically looks like this but it has a resistor at the end here and then you leave your wire on touch so whenever you want to put your stock seat back on take that uh restrictor off or resistor and then put your stock one back on and you're good to go in my case we decided to just do this basically what ricardo did but it cost us nothing because we already had all this and that's pretty much it then after this we're going to transfer all of this to the bottom of that guy I probably won't film any of that process because it's going to take forever. But what I will do, uh, I'll show you guys how I'm going to zip tie it and put it all in place. Also, we had this sensor, which I have no clue what it's for. That was 
pretty much right here. I don't know what it is for. Um, we're thinking maybe all these come with it and it might be for the uh, heated seats. But since I don't have them, they're not going to anything. I took it off anyways. Didn't want to cut it. They didn't want it a little bit unplugged unless you gave me a check engine light. So that's what we're going to do. And sliders next. All done here. Took me a while. It was a headache to do, but finally got it done. You can see the sliders on. When I sit on it, ah, you go down. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, but back, forward, pretty smooth. Uh, no instructions on how to do this at all, anywhere. But basically here it, here it is so the solid part goes facing the seat then the rails these with the teeth facing up upwards towards the seat uh, what I ended up doing for me was this hole right here in the middle highest one on the rail so you can fit the bottom uh, as you can as you saw when I pulled the the lever to go in and out pretty smooth all right so my camera died but I had to change the battery but anyways what i was explaining is basically middle hole middle hole uh farthest hole at the top i sat on it slides pretty easy make sure you try to put it as square as possible so what i did i loosened these up right here on the rail once this was on and then i moved it left or right or up and down in this case to make sure it's straight so when I make my adjustments, I'm not um, facing any resistance or anything like that. Other than that, uh, time for the seat belt. So as you can see, oh my seat belt has this little, this little like uh, right there. It's this little thing right here, uh, which basically on the stock seat, uh, right here on the seat belt hole has a little hole right there to keep it in place so it doesn't like slide back and forth oh i'm gonna scratch the car um so what i'm gonna do with this one i'm just gonna drill a small hole right there uh to keep it right about there with the seat so i don't have to be reaching for the seat belt and then i gotta find a nut for this guy so i can secure it on there with a washer i have a bunch of washers so i'm not worried about that once i have that on it's time to put my harness and zip tie here at the bottom. Um, once I zip, zip all that up, it's time to put on the car and we'll be all set. So like I said, seatbelt needs a little bit of a hole right about here when I make that vertical line. And I'm just going to drill through this. Uh, it's a little bit on the edge of this, which I mean, I kind of don't like. But this thing is pretty solid. I might just make it right here so it's a little bit um so it's a little bit more over to the right and more towards the center so i'm gonna keep my seatbelt aligned right here so i'm gonna drill through here uh careful not to uh cut through the other side and i'm gonna start with the smaller bit and then work my way up until it fits just snug or perfect in there uh, pretty excited I'm not gonna lie i was pretty bummed out for a while because how much work this is and how much extra it is for this thing and just didn't have all the parts but honestly now that I'm getting closer, pretty, pretty excited. All right. So I already cut the hole. Pretty easy. Just right there. This guy slides right in there. And it, this is as much movement as you're, you're supposed to get. Even on the stock seat, you get about that much just to adjust for different sizes. Uh, and yeah, now you just put the nut on the other side. Make sure it grabs nicely. And then ready to go on the car. Uh, so yeah let's let's knock this out here's basically the harness let me get the flash that out uh, how everything goes you don't want to have anything passing this well right here anything that sticks out more than that at the back is going to stick and is going to hit the uh the harness before so you're not going to mount flush all right and here's the seat finally all installed and there's a planet seat bracket it will leave you with this right here um 
carpet doesn't cover all of it because this has the shape of the original bracket for the seat. Uh, it also has a hole, which does not go through all the way, but eventually what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get some carpeting or something to cover this around. Once I get the seat um, perfectly where I want it, what I still need to do is bring this, this side of the seat belt, bring it through this loop right here uh, just to go over. Um, it's not a good idea to have a bucket seat with the stock um, seat belt because if you fit in here and you roll over or anything like that, this will not hold you. You'll just slide right out from there. But since I'm a bigger guy, it's not an issue for me. And I want to put it through here just because it's going to make it a little bit easier for me. You can take this foam pad right here uh, for your five point harness if you ever need that. And like I said, it does come with this little pocket, which I find them super handy. Slide in your, your card or your uh, wallet right here. What I'm doing with mine, keeping my access port right here. That way I don't lose it, I don't forget it, and it's always handy. This, this pretty comfortable. Uh, also is Velcro onto here. So you can definitely take this out and you can buy like a more padded one if you needed to. Um, that's where the harness is going to be for the seat. Just kind of zip tie it and then just put the rest right there down the middle so it's not in the way. Uh, but yeah, does the seat. Um, really, really happy with it. Uh, have in mind, it is an NRG seat. So it's not the best seat ever made. Uh, it does creak and rattle every now and then. So you can hear that a little bit, um, which is fine. I know I complain about the other seat uh, rattling and creaking as well, but this is so much more minimal. This it only happens when I go over a speed bump or like a bumpy area, that's it. It won't do it. Whereas my seat was actually doing it all the time, no matter what I was doing. Uh, other than that, Nothing else to show. Oh, big shout out to Andrew, friend of mine. Just gave me this, I want to say about a week ago. Uh, on the other video I was talking about, I had the cop shifter and I didn't need to do anything else to it. But Andrew surprised me with this um, ST carbon fiber knob weighted. Uh, it It's amazing. It's pretty good. I would have personally never paid a hundred bucks for this. But he got it for free for me, so how can I say no to that? Uh, pretty simple to put on and off, so if I ever want to go back to the other one, I can do that. But huge shout out to Andrew for this. Really appreciate it. Actually ships a lot nicer with this on since it's weighted. Uh, little slop right there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I got nothing else going on for the car aside from... I think the front brace I have to do, and then once I do the front brace, that's gonna be a that's gonna be it for mods for now. Um, oh, my revision for the tune after I do the brace, I'm gonna do the revision for the tune. I'm gonna adjust some stuff, make sure it's running properly, and then other than that, it's just gonna be all about enjoying the car, just driving as much as possible. I'm at where am I at? I am at eighty four thousand miles right now so at 85,000 what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the oil and I'm gonna change the transmission oil which I never done in this car I just keep slacking on it I need to do it it does need it badly so yeah aside from that just driving the car a lot uh, the roads are snowed out right now so for the most part uh, what I'm trying to do is find things to do with the car so not really car meets but like small small car meets if possible but yeah all right guys there's a seat uh finally so you can see it uh we'll see you on the next one